Bonjour et bienvenue. In this video, we are going to do some GCSE speaking practice for theme one, topic one, me, my family and friends. I am going to give you a top mark example answer to this question. Parle-moi de toi. Tell me about you or talk about yourself. So, let's see how we get on. Now remember that if you want the guide for this video, consider becoming a member here on YouTube by clicking on the join button and visit my website learnfrenchwithalexa.com for the complete French course. Okay, you're in the exam and the examiner says, parle-moi de toi. So what answer are you going to come up with? This is my suggested answer. Of course, it's a suggested answer. You don't have to answer that um, necessarily. But this answer will show you a few grammatical points that you may want to use in your own answer, okay? For all the questions, by the way. Now, let's have a look at what I have answered to Parle-moi de toi, talk about yourself. Je m'appelle Alexa, j'ai 16 ans et je parle anglais et un peu français. J'ai deux sœurs qui sont plus âgées que moi et j'habite avec ma famille dans le sud de l'Angleterre depuis très longtemps. Plus précisément à Greenwich. Je suis fière de ma famille. Now, you may say, well, where, where is the difficulty in that? No, because it actually looks quite simple. But it has all the elements to give you quite a high mark in the exam. Why is that? Well, let me show you what it has. Now, remember that... You might not know that, but it, ideally, I would like you to include um, uh, conjunctions, okay? I would like you to include adverbs. I would like you to include the right tenses as well. If the uh, question is in the present tense, answer in the present tense. If it's in the past tense, then your answer should be in the past tense. Sometimes you can use conditional like that, not necessarily, you know, guided by a conditional tense. So use the tenses appropriately. Use negation if possible. Use comparatives. Use the right pronouns, okay? And then your answer will be marked higher. So why is this answer a good answer? Because it has a lot of the elements I've just mentioned. Je m'appelle Alexa, j'ai 16 ans et je parle anglais et un peu français. Well, there is no difficulty here, but what I've done here is I've added un peu to my sentence, like I, I've modified it a bit, a bit, a bit, okay? I speak English and a bit of French, okay? And what I've done as well, I've used j'ai 16 ans properly. Now, I've seen it so many times that when you want to give your age, you tend to say, I am 16, je suis 16, doesn't work. It really doesn't work in French. Remember that to give your age, use avoir in the present tense. And that means that you must know avoir, to have, être, to be, in the present tense by heart. So j'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, on est, euh, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. That should be learned by heart. It's really important. That will help you conjugate in the past as well. They are known as auxiliary verbs, by the way. So, the beginning of this answer is quite okay, but it's not perfect. So, go on and develop your answer. J'ai deux sœurs qui sont plus âgées que moi. Now, the difficulty, I uh, can see two difficulties here. The fact that I'm using a relative pronoun, qui, okay, that of who or, or, or which. I have two sisters that are, who are, Okay, and here's another difficulty. And this is where me telling you again that knowing how to conjugate to be in the present tense is really important. Because if you didn't know how to conjugate to be in the present tense, you wouldn't know that after qui comes son here. Okay, why is it son? Because the subject is de sœurs. They, they are. Elles sont. Okay, elles sont. So knowing the subject pronoun will help you know what comes next. With elle or il, it's son in the plural. With je, it's sui. With tu, it's e. With il, it's e. And so on. With nous, it's some. Okay? Very important, once again, that you know your auxiliary verbs by heart in the present tense. Ideally, in the imparfait too. Ideally, in the future tense too. But hey. Now, 
J'ai deux sœurs qui sont plus âgées que moi. So, I have used plus que. That makes me sound clever. Why? Because it's a comparative. I'm comparing my sisters to me, moi. Okay? And the comparative is quite easy to use. You know, put plus and then the adjective and then que. And here you've got a comparative. You're comparing two things uh, next to each other together. Okay? Je suis plus petite que toi. I am smaller than you. Je suis plus grande que toi. And so on. Here, plus âgé means older, more aged than. Okay? Now, my sisters are older than me. Et j'habite. And I live against present tense. There is nothing difficult about the tenses in this answer. J'habite avec ma famille dans le sud de l'Angleterre. So try to give me more details in your answer. I live with my family where? In the south of England. Good. Do you see what I mean? So that makes your answer a bit more, you know, spicy. There's more to it, uh, you know, more substance to your answer. Now, what is interesting here is the way I use depuis. Depuis is a preposition. It means since, but it can mean for as well. Try to use it cleverly. I have been living with my family in the south of England for a very long time. Okay, see how we're using that? Depuis. When you use a past continuous in English, use the present tense in French. So, I have been living, I live. I have been playing tennis, I play tennis. And then add depuis. So, je joue au tennis depuis très longtemps, for example. Okay, that adds to the difficulty of the uh, answer. Okay, depuis très longtemps, well, I like the fact that I have très here, yeah, use très intensifiers, you know, très trop, they're very good uh, to, 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 to make your, your answer a bit more, um, more, more of a, alive, I would say. I'm not sure whether it's the right thing, but you, you see what I mean, okay? And then... I'm adding more clever things, plus précisément, more precisely. Now, adverbs are really easy to learn, okay? Especially the adverbs of uh, manners, okay? So, um, I mean, I've got the whole video on how to to build an adverb of manners, but they're very easy to do in that uh, you use the adjective rapide, for example, and then you add ment to it, rapidement, rapidly. Do you see? Fort, for is strong. Use the feminine of for is forte, and then add more, fortement. Okay? Précise, précisément. Okay? So, try to learn how to put those adverbs together, and that will go a long way, I'm sure. So, I live in the south, more precisely, in Greenwich. A Greenwich, remember, a for a town, en for a country. Unless it's a masculine country, it's O. And to finish, je suis fier de ma famille. I am proud of my family. I've used fier here. Okay, that uh, that makes me a, a female, feminine, because je, of course, is here feminine, because we are talking about me, Alexa. Okay, but of course, if you were a boy, you would say fier. Okay, that's another thing. In your answers and in your writing, as well, okay, and you might spot it in the reading as well and hear it as well. So it's for all abilities here, all papers of the exam. Look at what the noun is that you're using and agree the adjective with that noun. If it's a masculine noun, then keep the word as it is, but if it's a feminine, add an e to it. It's more likely that. You will add the need to it with a feminine, okay? Sometimes there is an E already, but more likely uh, that you will add an E. If it is masculine plural, keep the word as it is, add an S. If it's feminine plural, add an E and an S, okay? And you've got to take that in consideration. It's really tough, actually. It's really tough. But anyway, that word will bring you more points, even in writing. You know, uh, the examiner is going to read your writing and think, well, okay, he's even making sure here that he's agreeing the adjective to the noun. So that's bonus point. Okay, so that's it on my answer. Of course, it's a suggested answer. I'm not saying that this is the answer that you will have to give to the exam, but um, try to use those little um, difficulties here. Okay, use your connective. Use your negatives, use your 
com comparatives, use the right tense, use the right adverbs, use the right prepositions, use pronouns, and so on. Okay? That's it for me. Quite jolly, jolly happy with that one. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous, bisous, salut.